welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at three different games for Windows 10 Mobile again. And uh, as always I've got a couple of different things with me which are of course a mouse, Bluetooth mouse. Um, I'm going to have my forward keyboard around and in general we could use one of the uh, uh, gamepads I'm using which in this case is the Xbox One wireless controller. But the uh, problem about that is none of the games we are going to play in this episode will support this, so this one stays at the side. Um, and just to let you know, we are not actually playing Continuum games this time around, because there is, in my mashup I, I uh, found for this episode, there is no Continuum enabled game in this. Um, we are going to play in the mirror mode in this case, so for that, as always, you will have to change the mode to the mirror mode. I will show you later on how that is done. Um, in the end, everything is done, however, as always, by my Lumia 950 XL. It's connected by a USB-C connector at the bottom here, which will give us this kind of experience in continuum mode or in mirror mode, which is going to be the, uh, the uh, smartphone uh, display more or less mirror to the big screen. And uh, if you want to know more about Continuum or the whole technology around it, please have a look at the corner up there. There are a couple of other videos, but I'm going to talk about that more in depth. Other than that, um, the three games I'm going to show you in this episode are Square O or something. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, Red Candies, Candyland Mania and Archer Animal Hunting. Um, yeah, and we are just going to start with the first one, which of course is Square O. Um, it's a nice little game, I really like it somehow. Um, it's more or less something, so in the end, yeah, just to let you know, nothing of the games I'm co I collected here uh, is going to work on Continuum, so you will see it in like this gray area there. In some situations you will see this. This doesn't mean that it's not supported or something, it just means that my SD card I'm currently using in my smartphone doesn't host those files anymore. So there's this little blue information down below which tells me, okay, this one is not available at the moment. But you could play it on Continuum. And if you see it in just this kind of color, then this means it's available, but it's not available for the Continuum mode. And of course, continuum mode games are going to be shown in just a normal white color like this. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, Football Cup could be one I could play. Problem about this is it doesn't really load in a very well way, so I just skipped it and got two other games which are better to be played and which I like to play, of course. Okay, so uh, in the end, to get this all on, as mentioned before, we have to go to the mirror mode. For that, you can go either uh, in the system itself to the system and, uh, settings and go to display and then uh, go that route. Or you can uh, just go in continuum mode to the, uh, the three dot menu there, go to display settings at this point, which is a much faster way to get there, and go to the settings. And here we go. We are in the mirror mode now. This is a option for that and now we can play anything that is running on the smartphone anyway like this um, yeah so let's go back to our game and or our library more or less and let's start with square o square o whatever it's called and have a look at that um, it's more or less something that you might already know. It's more or less like a Sudoku, but with a little bit of a different approach. But it's sometimes a little bit like this, maybe a little bit like Minesweeper, but not really. So let's have a look at it. I'm going to turn around, show you everything, and play this game with you. Um, so to activate it, just you could have a look at the settings down below here. So if you want to, for instance, uh, get rid of the, the um, yeah, more or less, uh, get rid of the sound or anything, you can of course uh, get rid of it here and so on and so forth. But in the end, what we want to go or do here is play the game. So let's go with this button in the middle. And as you can see, there are a couple of different, uh, yeah, 
let's say difficulty levels or something. I'm just going to start with the first one. You can of course play all of them. Um, so how is it working? More or less you see this number in the middle and this means how many of the corners are going to be occupied. So in the end all you have to do is now click those and for instance if there are four and you have a square of course you can select all of those and they are going to be shown like this uh, to show you okay hey everything is fine for this one. Next one, of course, same thing. So first off, I would recommend you to go with all the fours. Just select them because they have to be all of the edges there. And now you will have to see what's happening. So in the end, as I already can see here, we have a zero at this point. So it's not possible that this, this or this corner will be occupied. Of, of course, this, uh, this neither. And like this, we already know, okay, so that this still is only two, only this corner is possible to be selected. And so this is two, this is one, this matches this and will work. Okay, next one. So uh, we have a three, this means we have one more corner to go with. And um, yeah, in the end, we actually don't really know which one it would be. For instance, something like this could be the case. Um, same. No, here it already is defined because the 4 has already all the uh, two edges or two corners covered here. It's more or less only be possible like this. And this one can only be this because of course the 1 can't have one more corner. I, I think you already got what this is all about. So just try it out. And after a while you will see it's very, very maybe not simple but easy to understand and in the end it's more or less like uh, some, something like Sudoku or something. And as you can see we just got this right so we have this congratulations uh, information down below here and he just told us hey you really went right with this and can go on with the next level in the end. Um, yeah, to go there, just click once in the middle. Now you can, for instance, put in your name, go to the scores and then and, and put it there and just share it if you want to or just click on OK and just go back, play the other rounds around and stuff like that. OK, so um, in the end, this is a game. It's a really simple one, but a nice one if you want to just, uh, yeah, more or less get rid of a little bit of time when you are waiting somewhere or something. That's a pretty nice and good, a good example of a good game, I think. Very easy to understand, but yeah, not that easy to conquer, but it's not hard neither. So pretty good thing here. Um, yeah, let's go to the next uh, game. And the next game is going to be World Candies Candyland. Uh, Mania and it's more or less a uh, you know, word search game. We already had a couple of them in the episodes, but uh, this one is something that is candy or at least bakery or something. I'm not sure what, how to call it. Um, uh, themed in the end, and it's a very, very nice uh, graphically themed one. Problem about it is you can't even play it with your mouse on the big screen. So for everybody who is using this, this is a game you should really only play if you are using the wireless version of Continuous. Uh, Continuum. So the connection version uh, can be done wireless too. If you don't know that, um, it's called Miracast and stuff, uh, stuff like that. I might put in another video up there if you don't know what that is all about. But in the end, um, or you just have a very, very long cable of this because you will need your smartphone to really navigate this in the, in the right way. And um, yeah, for us, just so I can show you the principle or the principle how to play this, I'm just going to play it like this, um, sitting next to the screen here and going to go like this. Not ideal, but just for the sake of it to show you the game, it should be fine. Otherwise, I could go to the uh, wireless mode and play it like this. So for wireless, you just need a TV which can uh, do mirror cast, or you need uh, one of the dongles, for instance. Um, the display adapter of Microsoft, I'm not even sure if I have connected it at the moment, so I can't really show it to you. But um, in the end, 
yeah, that could be used to do it. I'm in general a fan of the, the cable version because this also locks your, your uh, smartphone then and stuff like that. So I like it like this and don't use the, the uh, wireless adapter there much. But in the end it's possible too. Anyway, here is Word Candy. Go in there and we are just going to go in. And as you can already can see we have this kind of candy swirl machine, whatever. And all you have to do now is you have to uh, use those uh, letters there to create three different words from it. And in the end you just do it by selecting them with your finger and just uh, swiping to the next uh, different um, letters there to create the different words. For instance, the third word would be four. So you just use your finger, put it like this, and this should do it. And the second one, of course, is off, for instance, and then we have or. So like this, we found all the different word combinations which are possible for these three uh, options we had there. And of course, like this, we can go on and on with the different levels here. Same, uh, same thing here, not for instance could be the three word, um, on could be that and two could be for instance the, the other one with the two letters there. And so we are going to go up and as you already can see we have a couple of different levels we are going through here. Um, so in the end you have a couple of words per level and after a while you are going to go to the next level, in this case this one. And sometimes you will get more letters then, and of course that will give you uh, different kinds of, of possibilities with uh, different um, word combinations. And more word combinations can come there too. Okay, so one of the three words is of course God. Um, you could go with dog probably. Okay, they just it's a valid word, but they didn't have it in this puzzle, so they gave us just something for it. Okay, cool. Um, go, of course, could be one. Do could be one. And good could be one, of course. So after this, you already even received more money, so in the end you can use that for a couple of different things. We can have a look at uh, what this is really going to help you with. And in the end, if we click on, come on. Ah, okay, yeah. In general, it's most likely for the hints here, so if you don't know how to play it anymore, or which kind of words you want to use or something, then you can just go with hints and give yourself a little bit of, a, of an, yeah helper there if you just don't know what the word could be. So next one, Z, for instance, is a long one. We can have at and we can have hat and that would be our word puzzle in this case. And so on and so forth. I hope you, you understand what this game is all about. I think it's a nice one. If you like this kind of games, try it out. Um, the next one, of, and the last one for our episode, is Archer Animal Hunting. Um, it's a 3D game where you're going to be a little bit of an archer, more or less, and you're going to hunt for animals in the end, so it's very, very literal. Um, and the good thing about it is you can really run through an environment, try to hunt down animals and stuff like that. It's a nicely done game. Um, it can be played with a mouse, um, I wouldn't recommend you to do it so, but I'm going to try it out in this episode so just to show you. In the end it's another game that you can easier play on your smartphone than on the big screen. But anyway, just let, have a look at it. I'm just going to turn around here and show you this game too. So go in here. And of course I already have prepared it, so Archer Animal Hunting. I'm just going to activate it here. Um, at the start it's going to be upside down or something, but it's going to move around as you can see. So everything is fine with that. Can be played on the big screen in a more or less reasonable way. Problem about it is it's only going to be usable with your mouse. So um, there is no input controls matched to or mapped to your um, keyboard for instance and stuff like that, which is a shame, this uh, game could be a fun one for that kind of play.
but not possible at the moment, so just click on play in this case. And uh, in the end you are going to go through different kind of levels here. First level for instance is deer hunting, second level is I think a wild boar, and um, after that we will see. And um, there are a couple of different animals here in, uh, in here of course, so first level is this one, and I already played a couple of them. Not even sure if I did. Maybe he's going to load in the whole environment then, which would be... Okay, yeah. Okay, I pressed, pressed back, which of course was this one. I'm going to play the first level with you here. Um, just uh, the hunting of the deers here. Uh, yeah, it's more or less a difficulty level thing with the levels here. So if we go in now, play the first game with the deer. Um, the, the reason for that is more or less the deer is the largest animal of them, so it's easier to hit them than other uh, kinds of, of animals, like a boar or something. Problem is, the animals are going to move around, so as you can see they are running around, and you have a timer which is going to be against you. And the biggest problem with this game, if you are not playing it with your, um, with your smartphone itself, you will have to do everything by the mouse, and for that you will have to click and move your mouse around to look into different directions and after that you will have to leave it somewhere and press the fire button and this is the biggest problem of the game because for mouse use at least because you in general would need to do both at the same time which can be easily be done with if you are going to use your fingers but it's not possible, or not easily possible, with this kind of part. And as you already can see, we are just doing fine here. So for the slower animals, like first level ones and stuff like that, this is going to be okay. The game itself runs beautifully. It's a nice one. I think there is the other deer. And you can move around. Same thing. A uh, good thing about it is the game is not meant to move around like really running and fighting or something. It's just for positioning your character in a new way, more or less. And after that, you can just use it as you might already be used to. And yeah, I'm going to lose it because the time is over. But in the end, um, you can play this game in this kind of way. I'm going to try it again, just to show you that you can go to the next level and stuff like that. Um, but in the end, uh, you can play this game in this kind of way. It's it's possible, but not that much fun than it would be on the uh, on the smartphone itself. So um, just be aware of that and try to play it with your smartphone. It doesn't really matter where you hit your animal, so putting it anywhere is really fine for it. And uh, damn. Okay. One more thing, if you are going to go too f close to your animal, I'm just going to show you this. Okay, it's far away, so it's fine for us. Um, but if you are going to go too close to the animal, it's going to run away from you. And this is of course a bad thing. And um, in general, if you have this, uh, this uh, shot, uh, a camera flight, which is a nice add-on. It can mean that you are really getting your animal there, but it doesn't have to be like that. So be very aware of that. Um, any kind of shot, as mentioned before, will kill the animal, so it's a good thing for you. And after that, let's see if I all at all have to run here. Um, another thing, which is, yeah, I'm I'm too far off, we'll have to go there. Problem is he takes a lot of time to go somewhere. So be aware of that. You don't have much time left there on the clock. So I will have to try it. Yeah, okay, lost. Whatever. In the end, um, if you want to fire somewhere, you really have to fire where the, the uh, cross is. So you don't have to take in mind that the animal is going to move or something. The moment you are firing at something, um, 
is more or less the moment that he will hit the target or not. So the animal or something will be will be stopped at that point and the, the arrow will fly to the aim there and after a while it will hit or not depending on if the, uh, your, your cross, your, uh, your uh, aiming cross more or less, is going to be on the target or not. Yeah, and this is more or less what I can show you in this episode. I hope you had fun with it. There are a couple of different games in there. Some of them are really fun. I would, would recommend you to try them out. And other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you liked the episode, please give it a thumbs up, of course. And if you have any kind of questions, comments or whatever, put them down below in the commentary section. Other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a great time. Have a great day. We will see us in the next episode again. And bye. Bye.